what is going on my divine masculine it is scorpion red tarot i am back at it again yes indeed to let you know what your daily bread is for this weekend april the 13th and 14th yes 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 we are we are we are all right thank you to everyone who has been liking sharing and subscribers shout out to all my new subscribers if anyone would like to book a personal and private reading you can do so by clicking the about tab there's a hyperlink for my booking and for my video platform okay i only do video readings okay either on instagram or on google hangouts okay my email address is on the about page as well so what you would do is you click the hyperlink that says scorpion reds tarot as simply book me again scorpion reds tarot as simply book me you can find that link again on the about tab on my youtube page go ahead and book with the booking all right then after that send me a message on instagram and or on google hangout say hey reds it's me i booked for this and that a day Nine times out of ten, I'm going to try to see if you want to do the reading that same day, if I'm available to do it. And we just go from there, okay? If you do not feel comfortable with video readings, um, there is an option for direct video upload, okay? It's an additional $10. You have to book the selected type of reading that you want, and you have to purchase the add-on as well, okay? Only thing is you will not be able to interact with me um afterwards so um we you know it, it won't be it won't be like a live interaction so um but i do understand a lot of people don't feel comfortable with um face-to-face -face video reading so you do have that option as well um and we'll be able to chat and go back and forth a little bit but it just it just won't be the same that's all i'm saying so anyway um if this video resonates at any time and you want to give a love donation you can feel free to do so uh the paypal information is in the description let's get into the reading Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the Divine Masculine to get our nourishment, to get our daily bread. Thank you so much for um, elevating us, Father. I feel like, you know, we're at a place where Divine Masculine is just, I, it's just, they really need to be with you in a sense. Like, they just really need to kind of just sit down. I see the Divine Masculine, like, they don't even want their feet on the floor right now. They just want to kind of be. You ever seen one of those videos or one of them pictures where it's like someone kind of sitting in Indian style and they're like um, meditating, but they're levitating off of the ground. Like, I feel like Divine Masculine wants to kind of zone out like everything that's whatever's going on in his environment. He just wants to find some kind of tranquil peace where he's just in a peaceful calm environment where he can just zone out and just literally feel like he is so in tune with spirit in the universe and with nature and just like a peaceful environment that he's almost levitating and floating that's how much he wants peace like he just don't even want his feet to be on this ground right now he feels like he needs to be levitated you know what i'm saying he feels like he needs to be elevated like elevate me like god please bring me higher like that's what they feel it's just like they just need this spiritual elevation right now and father god thank you so much for bringing the divine masculine to this point in this journey because you know we all come to our awakening at different speeds and at different times and you know as long as we get there that's all that matters truly it don't you know i'm not here to judge nobody's story i'm not here to um because i know i ain't perfect so i damn sure i'm not about to turn my nose up or nobody else be like i can't believe you did that Shit, I ain't even that type of bitch. I'll be ready to pull some popcorn. I'll be like, bitch, what, what, what happened? Shut the fuck up. So, you know, like, that's me. You know what I'm saying? I'll be like, honey, this is a story. We need to write a book down. We need to educate people. And that's what we're doing. Divine Masculine, why don't you take everything that you've learned and educate people about your journey? You ever thought about that? Write down. I and it's like you wanna be 
you don't it's like you want to be in this space where you're not even here almost you want to be in a higher ground you can do that but it's within you you understand what i'm saying it's within you let me okay let me get into the reading let me get into the reading anyway so um i want i'm sorry like the bi masculine i want to i want to do life purpose for y'all i'm like i really do i'm sorry this reading just took a turn because i just i gotta do what I, I i feel like i gotta do and that's what i gotta do right now spirit please give me guidance for the divine masculine and god to their life purpose for the speaking april speaker talk to your angels Instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance. Your life purpose involves your your skills of 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 or of oration. Let go. Walk away from this situation in order to resolve it. This is Divine Masculine Guidance this weekend, April the 13th and 14th, 2019. Justice, okay. Sensitivity, okay. So, in regards to life purpose, what you need to focus on this weekend in regards to your life purpose, um, Divine Masculine, okay? Speaker. Uh, I believe yesterday um, when I was doing you guys' reading, the throat chakra came up. The center of the throat, you know, um, being able to speak. And that also it stimulates your desire for knowledge and just, you know, truth and understanding. So in order for you to get to a point where you're able to open up that throat chakra and speak, you need to get to a point of truth and understanding. Okay, because you see justice here. There will be karmic justice. There will be balance. Okay, there will be balancing of the scales. So you need to come to a point where you're able to like, let the angels come to you. Where you can figure out the way to talk and speak your truth. And um, yeah, your life purpose. One thing about. The big thing that's going on in your life right now is you learning how to speak. I feel like you guys, y'all are runners. Y'all are escape artists. Y'all never speak and, 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 and speak your mind's eye and tell people the truth. You just run. And you can't continue to do that. And if you're looking for positive change, honestly and truly in your life, you're going to have to learn how to balance this throat chakra. You need to stimulate the desire for knowledge, truth, and understanding and learning how to speak it thoroughly and clearly without fear, without fret. You understand? All right. Talk to your angels. Instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance. It's time to really get down on your knees and it's just time to like pray. And I feel like y'all have been praying. Y'all have been praying, but are you drunk when you praying? Are you at your worst moment when you're praying? Or do you wake up in the morning and you thank God for life? You thank God for your children. You thank God that you're waking up going to your job. you thanking God. You know what I'm saying? Like, are you coming to God at your worst? Are you coming to God at random times of the day just saying thank you? And, and then speaking to God about what it is that's on your heart and what's on your mind and the truth and the clarity if if whatever this truth and, and and whatever this is that you need to speak i feel like some of you guys don't even know how to even formulate the words to speak how it is that you feel because you maybe not know how you feel one minute you feel one day one time i feel like a nut sometimes i don't almond joys has nuts mounds don't and i feel like that's how y'all life is right now sometimes you feel like a nut sometimes you don't sometimes you like a bitch that got you know that's just a nut and then sometimes you like the mounds the ones that ain't just a nut you see what i'm saying like 
you just like her coconut inside. You don't need that extra nut there. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, I feel like you, you, you're going to have to learn how to talk to your angels and you're going to have to like come to them humbly and honestly, you know, first being honest with yourself and then like really balance your knees and being honest with them and just giving your words and your burdens to them and spirit is trying to tell you right now it's time to let go it says walking away from the situation walk away from the situation in order to resolve it and you see someone trying to hold on to a puppy their companion is like a little puppy all right you might gotta leave that little puppy behind okay Okay, you need to sit down and you need to talk to your angels and you need to let go. Okay, it's something they're trying to tell you that you need to walk away from this situation in order to resolve it. And, and, when, and when I'm honestly looking at here, it's like if spirit sent you a unicorn, someone to take you to safety and they're trying to tell you something that you got to let go. How are you going to ride the unicorn holding on to a fucker puppy? It's like, Abby, you going to have to, I know you love the puppy, but you're going to have to put the puppy down. You asking for safety. It's like you talk to your safety. I mean, you talk to your angels. You ask them to give you some answers to, to help you. And they send you the unicorn, but you don't want to let go of your companion, your little puppy, but you can't get on this unicorn. You can't let go. You're not going to be able to understand and see what you need to see and do what you need to do if you won't let go of something so that you can get on this ride and be able to ride it safely because at the end of the day, you still holding on to something that you're asking God to help you let go of it. You're going to get on that unicorn and both of y'all ass going to fall off. And you know the puppy got wings. Only the unicorn got wings. So this unicorn about to take you somewhere that you nor the puppy have the ability to get to. So why are you going to sit there and hold yourself back holding on to a little ass puppy? You can get another puppy. Like, you know understand what I'm saying? This journey is about you. Okay? Justice. Your career benefits Hold on. I'm saying benefits. But maybe it does benefit from fairness and protection. All right? But it's saying your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help. So what I'm getting from this is... What I'm getting from this is I feel like there's something going on in your career where you feel like there should be some karmic justice there. Um, and and, and you, you're just very sensitive right now. Divine Masculine, you are really sensitive right now. I just feel like you are very... Um, Y'all are very emotional right now. And y'all are looking for some type of karmic justice, some type of balance. In regards to uh, a work situation here. And y'all might have to walk away from it. Y'all might have to walk away from this, this, this career situation in order to get some balance. Um, but there will be karmic balance. There will be justice in this situation. And I feel like there will be forgiveness um, because spirit is bringing you fairness and protection to you and others around you surrounding the situation. But you're going to have to put that puppy down. You're going to have to put that puppy down and get your ass on that motherfucking unicorn so that God can carry you off to safety. You've been talking to your angels. You've been asking them for help. They said that they're here to help you. And they're going to help you learn how to speak your truth. And stop backing down from speaking your truth. Okay? Right now you're just extremely sensitive. Because you feel like you've been going through complete fucking chaos. Your life purpose right now. In regards to what I feel like the divine masculine 
feels like his primary po uh, focus is and what God wants you to focus on is your speech, learning how to stop just sitting there and just letting shit happen. And that's honestly what I'm feeling. Stop just sitting there and letting shit happen. If you need the words to say, talk to your angels and let go. There will be karmic justice. There will be balance in the situation. Right now, you are a little bit too sensitive, okay? So I feel like some of y'all need to calm down too because y'all are being a little bit too sensitive and possibly a little moody, okay? So, um, and, 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 and I feel like that there's possibly a woman who has their back turned to you because they're looking for you to show them some sensitivity. You see what I'm saying? It says... You're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly. So, I feel like it's something going on that you need to walk away from that is making you sensitive. Not in the sensitive way where I'm saying that like a female, you're soft and sensitive like... You know, like when someone's cranky and moody, motherfuckers be like, man, stop acting so fucking sensitive all the time. Like, that's how y'all are right now. You know? And I feel like there's this female with a back turned to you. She's looking for you to show her some sensitivity. Because she's looking for some type of support. Because you see that she has like a, um, a cane, like a walking stick or something like that. It's, you know, this person needs support, yeah, and, and, and this person feels like maybe you're being insensitive, but you're being too sensitive, like this person can't talk to you because you're being too sensitive, what is this, impatient, my life is unfolding in divine timing, all delays are beneficial, I am at the right place at the right time, but this is in the reverse, okay, so you don't see it as you being in the right place at the right time. You don't see it that, you know, my life is unfolding in divine timing and that all delays are beneficial and that I am always at the right place at the right time. You definitely don't see it in that way. And you are extremely impatient right now. And I feel like that's why you've been so sensitive. Because you damn sure don't see it that way. You don't see nothing beneficial about this fucking situation at all. At the fuck all. Okay? Nothing. You just want karmic justice. You want justice. You want balance. You want balance. And if you want that, you have to, like... You got to you got you, you got to ask the angels. You got to talk to the angels. You got to talk to God. The 9 of pentacles in reverse. You feel like someone is taking advantage of you. Someone is taking advantage of your kindness and your generosity in regards to your money. You feel like there's a woman that's that that this woman and I feel like that's why you, you're a little bit sensitive and you're moody and you're cranky with this person and you want to let go because you feel like this person drains you financially. You feel like this person only really want to fuck with you because of your money and what you can give this person financially. Everything cool as long as you lining up this person's pockets with money, but as soon as you can't give to this person what they want financially it's a motherfucking problem you feel like this person is a fucking gold digger you know so you, you you're not looking at this situation like oh this delay and this person being in my life right now is a delay and it's beneficial you're like how the fuck is me being with this bitch beneficial <laughs> like no the temperance in reverse you feel like this person keeps you off balance okay you don't have no faith in this situation. There's no hope. There's no happiness. There's no joy. I feel like your energy is being sucked from you. It's like the core. Like you, 
you see okay so like right, i want you to look at this picture in the upright okay i want y'all to look at this picture in the upright and i just want you to see what i'm saying you see how like these are like energy vibrations can y'all really see these these are like vibrating energy vibrations right from from the core of the root near penis area their pelvic area is vibrations vibrations vibrate and you see the majority of the vibrations is coming from the penis the groin and the mind and this person feels like this woman has been laying on his on both sides of his mind like almost like driving this motherfucker crazy you see what I'm saying <laughs> like that's honestly what I'm getting what else am I getting here and look at how the ladies are laying up against his head like look at them they look almost scared like where are you going what are you doing what what And I feel like this person feels like this person that they're dealing with is on both sides of their mind where they can't even think in any direction because this person, I feel like it's almost clinging to their mind and like, like they feed off of their vibrations. You know what I'm, I'm like, <laughs> I feel like the divine masculine feels like this person, um, all of the vibrations that have been created throughout this relationship that they're dealing with here, it has all been based off of sex. You know what I'm saying? It's all been based off of sex. And now that they have someone that, you know, is trying to suck their money dry, is using them for their money, and they're trying to keep them in a certain level of mental control. They go to Hierophant. Yeah. They want to confine this per justice. The Hierophant. Like, they, it's like, I feel like they want to try to force this person to marry them. I feel like this person that they're dealing with is trying to make them feel like they should be the Two of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords, yeah. Maybe a um what a Gemini, a Libra, or what uh what is that? Aquarius, right? No, 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 hold on, what is that? Yeah. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. So I'm sorry, I'm I did the Divine Masculine's reading completely different because my energy just guided me to do it this way, y'all. Um Cause it's just supposed to be some daily bread and this is turning into like a real ass motherfucker reading but yeah like listen y'all feel this person drains you mentally physically and spiritually i feel like all this person wants is sex this person drives you crazy with their insecurities and them being off balance and being ape shit fucking crazy. Um, the grass wasn't necessarily greener on the other side like they thought it was a greener pasture and they got over there and realized it was false grass and you or whatever type of grass it is, you got to put too much work into it or too much money into it even to keep it up and it's just like... Once you had it for a little bit, you realize it ain't even worth the money that it's just not worth it. And I feel like it's been driving you fucking crazy. It's been driving you crazy. This is a situation that for whatever reason, you feel like it's something that requires a certain level of commitment, of commitment. And it's a balance of the heart and mind. Okay. It's a balance of the heart and mind. And I don't feel like this divine masculine necessarily is ready for this commitment because clearly, like I said, you, it's something that he needs to speak about and he's having to get counsel from spirit and, and, and spirit is trying to tell him to walk away in order for it to have balance and clarity because you're too sensitive right now and you're too impatient. And you're too impatient. Sometimes you got to walk away things to see things clearly. And what he's seeing is that this person is taking a balance. They're taking an imbalance on my life. This is something that really involves a commitment. 
a commitment into balance. Okay? True balance. And there will be justice, okay? There will be justice. So I feel like um, there's a commitment here. There's a commitment here that I feel like um, someone feels like they've been taken advantage of, and they and they feel like there 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 there's a lot of shit that's off balance, and I, I don't really see I don't really see them committing to this way of being, even though the hierophant is there. I feel like that hierophant represents. Um, the divine masculine going to God for spiritual guidance because they want there to be a balance of the heart and the mind. And here goes the two of pentacles. Okay. So they are juggling two different foundations right now. And I don't feel it's like they, they just they feel like they're being split apart. Almost, you know, and and you see, it has that that infinity sign below his feet. It's like he's trying to figure out if he's going to be able to balance and juggle this forever with this Queen of Swords. Like whoever this person is that they're dealing with, they feel like this person. Number one, they're greedy financially. It's all the only thing this person really give a fuck about is money. And this person is a bitch and they're cold and they're mean. And I feel like this person is very verbally cutting. And maybe that's why the divine masculine is trying to figure out the words to say to this person. I'm sorry, I really do not want to make this too long, but I'm just, I got to do what I'm got to do. And divine feminists, please do not get mad. Please do not get mad. Please give me some insight in regards to what's going on with the high masculine this weekend, the 13th and the 14th of April. Fuck, shit is about to get real. Fuck, you need your people around you. Whoa, divine masculine. Shit is about to get real, young. It says, fuck, you need your people around you. Shit about to pop off, Divine Masculine. What the fuck is this? It says, too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person. Put the fucking phone down. Too much screen time is making... I feel like... Mm. Give me one more. Some good shit is about to happen. Don't let your issues fuck it up. Alright, so what I'm getting. Shame, regret, and guilt. Those are just bullshit. Forgive, let that shit go. Believe what you see. Make better fucking choices. Alright, so this is what I'm getting, you guys. Like I said, shit about to get real. So, Divine Masculine, I really do shit might stop popping off this fucking weekend. I honestly see y'all cussing this bitch out. Like, honestly, whoever this girl is that y'all dealing with, this Queen of Swords, this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I see y'all cussing this bitch out. Okay? Y'all gonna tell her, you don't give a fuck about nothing but my money. You drive me crazy. You keep me unbalanced. I, you want me to marry you, but I'm never committing to this. All right? I just want justice. I want to find out the truth. And if I got to go to court to find out the truth, I'm going to find out the truth. Because me trying to balance this shit forever, I don't know if I want to do that. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I'm really looking over this and I'm... And I'm Figuring out and I'm realizing that me balancing this shit, I let the courts decide how I'm going to balance this shit out. And 
how this shit is going to be weighed out. Because I really just want to cut you out for real. Because I feel like you're a bitch. And that's what this person. That's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. Shit's about to get real. Because I feel like someone is going to be looking at their phone too much. All right. Making it awkward. Because I don't feel like the divine masculine is mentally there. In the situation. And it's going to make it awkward and whoever they're fucking with this person right here is going to be like whoever the fuck you keep talking to on the phone why don't you making it real awkward why don't you go talk to the live person and get the fuck up and get the fuck out you always on your phone go and talk to the person in person get the fuck out like i really do see that about to happen like shit about to get real shit about to get real and then but to you, it's going to feel like it was some good shit, you know? And I feel like even though this situation might come to you left field, to you, it feel like it's some good shit because I feel like you kind of wanted a way out any fucking way. So what spirit is trying to tell you is like you've been praying and you've been asking for answers. You've been asking for a way out. If I am sending you <laughs> this unicorn, don't be sitting up there trying to hold on to no argument with no fucking puppy. Like, whatever this is that you hold on with the companion, let it go. Do you feel what I'm saying? Let it go. Let it go. Okay? You need... This is what you want. Balance. You want justice. You want forgiveness for whatever the situation is. Because, um... Justice is also a card of, of forgiveness. So I feel like Divine Masculine's been asking God for forgiveness as well. You know? So it's like, fuck, shit about to get real. And you need your people. Because I feel like this bitch is a this this is a this this is a this woman that you're dealing with, this is like a very low vibrational woman you understand this woman is money hungry she would do anything for money like she is not beneath having sex for money um fair trade for money like you know what i'm saying she will bargain herself for money do you see what i'm saying so if she feels like you on the phone too much and somebody is encroaching on her territory that's gonna fuck with her money then the fuck shit about to get real and you might want to get your people and you might want to get the fuck off this phone and pay the fuck attention to what's about to crack off because this bitch is is about to is about to rock off on you but at the end of the day this is going to turn into something that is more of a blessing in disguise so don't let your issues fuck it up because i know you want to Snap back at this girl, but spirit is asking you to practice sensitivity. If she got her back turned to you for whatever reason, you were asking for justice anyway. All right. So you be sensitive and just let it go. Get on your unicorn, put the dog down, let it go. You know what I'm saying? Continue to ask for God. You know what I'm saying? Continue to ask for God. For his gracious mercy, you know, and to help you along this way and speak your truth, you know, sympathetically, okay? Be sympathetic, okay? Even though I know you might not want to be, especially how this person is coming at you because I, I really just see like you sitting on the couch, on the phone, like you could be on, 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 on Facebook looking at some cars or something. And just because you've been on the phone all day ignoring this person, this person just come out snapping on you like, you always on your phone, go and talk to that bitch in person, get the fuck out. And it's like, you want to hop up off the couch like, bitch, I'm sitting up here paying all these bills, trying to balance shit with you, trying to help my mother and help my family and take care of my kids and all of this shit like that. And you kind of like, I really do feel like, and, and, and you sitting up there got the audacity, want me to murder you? Want me to do this shit forever? Like, I really, do, I really do feel like some shit about to crack the fuck off this weekend, y'all. 
I really do feel like some shit is about to crack the fuck off. Don't let your issues fuck it up. Don't let your issues, because I know you want to crack off, but don't do that. Shame, regret, and guilt, those are just bullshit. Forgive and let that shit go. You know what you say? I'm good. You know what you write? I've been on my phone too much. I've been ignoring you. I ain't been doing the right thing. We need space. I'm just, I'm not even going to argue with you. I'm just about to let this shit go. You right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a shame. You know, I regret and I have, you know, some guilt about some shit. But, you know, those type of words are just bullshit. I don't have time to even focus on shame, regret, and guilt right now. Me even fucking with you to begin with. Okay? Because you talking shit about me being on the phone, bitch. I regret fucking with you. To begin with, bitch. And again, there's my unicorn. I got to go, bitch. I ain't got time to be fucking. I believe what I see now. I I believe. I be, Listen, I didn't see you for who the fuck you was before. You a gold digging, nasty ass, fucking horn ass bitch. And guess what? I'll see you in court. I'll see you in court. I don't know what the fuck y'all going to court about. But it's justice, 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 justice. That's all I'm seeing. Justice. Y'all having to deal with a higher authority to sort out this situation. Do you see what I'm saying? I could definitely see y'all going to court for something. To sort out something. Because you feel like this person... Almost like stole all your money from you or like y'all might be going to court because y'all got some like y'all might live with each other and, and this person feels like you owe them some money for some bills or something. And you're like, bitch, I don't owe you no fucking money for no bills. Bitch, I see you in court. I don't give a fuck about what you talking about. Okay. This is face re reality or live in fucking la la land. Choose bravely. Okay? Believe what you see about this person. Face reality or live in fucking la la land. Choose bravely. Believe what the fuck you see this person is. Alright? You been hearing shit about this person hoeing around, sleeping with people for money, doing anything for, doing something strange for some change. Believe what the fuck you goddamn see. This person shown you who they were. And that's why it's been driving. <laughs> and this person been wanting you to fucking commit to them on, on like a serious level. And you just like, nah, like, nah. Only reason why you want me to commit with you is because you want me to be stuck to having to take care of you forever. I'm not, no, no, no. <laughs> Take, some, take care of someone that's a fucking cold-hearted, mean-ass bitch. Only thing you give a fuck is about money. If you get so, you get so much a fuck about money, go and obtain this shit by your own. Like, work harder, bitch. Get off your back. And go work for it. I feel like it's going to be a very bad argument this weekend, you guys. It's going to be, oh my God. And Spirit is telling you to make better fucking choices. You are pissed at where you are. Then stop talk. Um, then stop taking yourself there. If you are pissed at where you are, then stop taking yourself there. Make better fucking choices. If you are pissed at where you are, then stop fucking taking yourself there. I see now why Spirit is saying that. Um, you just walk away from this situation. You haven't walked away from a companion this weekend. Divine Masculine. I really do feel like that. Let me get one of these. I'm sorry, I know that I really didn't did not mean for this to um turn into no full blown hour reading. But I gotta do what I gotta do. I I that this is what God's telling me to do. Someone needs to hear this going into this weekend. And I might drop this shit today. What is this? Okay, 
Saturday. It says, forget who you are. Conditioning falling away. Memory no longer defines you. Forget who you are. I feel like the divine masculine is trying to forget the person who they were that kept making these fucking decisions and get mixed up with people like this. Shame, regret, and guilt. Those are just bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I feel like spirit is being hard on divine masculine. You understand? It's like it's no time to have shame, regret, and guilt about the things that you've done and the people that you got involved with. This whole experience was about teaching the divine masculine to believe what you see. And when you look in that mirror, believe in what you see in yourself because the people that you surround yourself with is a reflection of yourself. Are you any better than them? You get me? Let's read what this says. Okay, so in the reverse, this means believing everything that you have been told that you are, defining self through labels, cultural programs, rules, and laws, missing out on beautiful, heart-opening opportunities to connect due to conformity and rigid beliefs. This is someone that you know that you need to forget this person like you, you, what's that little um, machine that they had on Man in Black where you just go and it just completely erases someone's mind and they have no idea of anything of their like divine masculine knows that they need to completely forget that person they need to forget that in order for things to change and you know because you're going to keep making the same choices you're going to keep attracting the the same people because it's you it's not them the only reason why you deal with these people is because you feel comfortable dealing with people you feel comfortable dwelling in the mud you feel more comfortable dwelling in the mud than soaring with eagles because you're scared to learn how to fly so you decide to dwell in the mud with pigs and with swine and then you get upset because you don't like being dirty if you don't like being dirty, then dust yourself off, dry your wings off. And if you a bird, be with birds. If you a pig, be with swine. If you're trying to change the conditioning of your thought and your mind process and how you treat yourself, let alone how you treat other people, you're going to have to realize that you're going to have to redefine yourself. You're going to have to let these conditionings fall away. You're going to have to forget Okay? You're going to have to forget who you were in the past no longer defines you anymore. Forget who you are and think about who you about to become. But this person right now, they're not focused on who they about to become because they've been stuck in this way for so long. They don't know how to change and they possibly don't want to change. All right? Find the lesson. Discover the purpose in a situation. Trust that you are learning. Okay? Finding the lesson. Life is like a stage. Sometimes the lesson is learning the roles of the characters around you. You ever, you know, before you play a game, that manual book in the inside of the game, before you even pop the game into the, the, the PlayStation or the Xbox or whatever the fuck it is, um, you read up on the characters and you find the character's strengths and their weaknesses and so that you kind of know how to play the game better type of thing like that. Yeah. Not only just reading about all of the characters around you, read up on your character. Look at yourself in the mirror and figure out what type of character you are. And if you need to go to the little um, game accessory stores and if you need to buy some more accessories or something like that to get you where you can successfully beat this game and play this, play this role in the best way, then maybe it's time for you to buy some add-ons. Because you got to think about the characters of the people that are around you. If you want to thrive, you are only as strong as the people around you. You are what you eat. You get me? Oh, okay. 
So in the reverse, let's see what this says. Find the lesson in the reverse. This means the reversal of this card amplifies the confusion you may be feeling. A challenging time that feels very unfair. There is a reason. It may be too hard to even begin to contemplate that there could be a higher purpose to this situation right now. Give yourself a little bit of space and be patient with yourself. Don't struggle to find the reason. Just find a way to make it through what is happening. All right? Find a way to make it through what is happening. That's why God is telling you, don't let your issues fuck shit up. So I don't know if y'all going to be fucked up. Y'all going to be drunk. What the fuck ever. Like, I don't know if you going to be sleeping. You cranky when you sleep or something. And I don't know what the fuck is going to happen. Whatever. I feel like you're not necessarily going to be in your best element when this person um, says whatever it is that they're saying to you. You're just not going to be in the fucking mood. Okay. So, this is about you seeing the true big picture as to why you're going through this. You know, why are you going through this? What has been put here for you to learn? It's about you making better choices and about you making better selection about the type of people that you allow into your life. You having a stronger connection with God or whoever your higher power is. You learning how to speak your truth and knowing your truth. You being able to get whatever add-ons that you need to do to like your character. So when you look in the mirror, when you look in the mirror, you like the motherfucker that you see in that goddamn mirror and all of your accessories and everything that you are. Reading up and knowing. Shadow. Um, triumph. Mm. I feel like you're going through a shadow phase right now. You're having to go deep, dark within. You're having to, like, go deeper than you've ever had to go spiritually within yourself. I don't think you've ever been through anything like this. But at the end of the day, you will triumph over this current stage in your life. You will triumph. There will be new beginnings. And a fulfillment of wishes. You will end up having to start all over. It's going to be a complete where it's just going to be just you walking into this new world phase. This new. And, and you're going to get everything that your heart desires. Like. That is good to know. That is good to know. I feel like Divine Masculine, you need to get, you need to truly, because I believe this said impatient, right? And again, this message right here was clearly, my life is unfolding in divine time and all delays are beneficial. I am always at the right place at the right time. Understanding why this delay why this shit is happening. Why you need to shake free of the conditionings that your mind has been telling you. that This is who I am. This is what I do. This is just the type of shit that I'm supposed to accept in my life. Because I'm just used to accepting this shit. I don't know anything. Any, I don't know any better. You do know better. And you can't uncondition yourself. You can change. That's why you go into this hierophant. This hierophant ain't no marriage yet. That dumb bitch was talking about marriage. You're not marrying that hoe. This is a fucking hoe. Come on now. It's a fucking hoe. This bitch don't have no spiritual beliefs, no balance. This this broad don't even believe in herself. She'd rather go lay on her back to collect a stat. You understand? It's pathetic. Listen. You're going through a shadow phase. You're going through a dark point in your life to bring you to the light. To bring you to the light so that you can truly see your inner self and the beauty of yourself as a divine masculine. You are going through the, this phase of your life to teach you that you are the fucking divine masculine. And you do have divine energy in you. Yeah, you might not have been shit for a long fucking time. But you know deep inside the core who you are. There is light all in you. You're not a bad person. You just, you just, 
you conditioning you ain't learn shit from like i really honestly feel like this has something to do with your childhood your upbringing i don't i feel like you just honestly didn't you weren't taught anything ain't nobody teach you nothing and i really do feel like it has something to do with your family upbringing number seven you understand you're going through a withdrawal period right now you're having to withdraw in order to triumph right now that's the only way that you're going to make it through the situation. You having to go within and focus and deal with self and deal with nobody but yourself. Starting from ground zero and rebuilding your whole life and stepping into a new phase of yourself. A new phase of yourself as the divine fucking masculine. And all of the wishes and fulfillments of everything that you want to need in your heart is coming through. It's coming through. Listen, what does it say right here? Laugh. Where the fuck is your sense of humor? That is what God is saying. You're being too hard on yourself. All of this shit, you'll understand it. You will understand the true purpose of this. God is pulling you. It's making you grow up. It's making you grow up. I can't, I can't. I can't do anything but, but 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 tell you that God is making you grow up. And I feel like he had to scare the fucking living shit out of you. And I feel like once everything will be battled and be settled in court. That's why I'm trying to tell you divine masculine. Because y'all seen that judgment card, that justice card up there too many times. There will be justice, and I feel like it will be settled out through a higher power. It will be spiritually, there will be justice, and it will be karmic justice, okay? And there will definitely be a day in the justice system. And both of those justice cards were in the upright. And I do feel like whatever is going on, it'll whatever is going on with this person, whatever they stole from you, whatever they were trying to get over, whatever they were trying to do, the justice system sees them just as you see them. Didn't it say that? Didn't it say we we'll put the phone down? Oh, believe what you see. The justice system is going to see this person just as you see this person. As the nasty little fucking hoarder she is. Okay? So let's give you some last advice. And then I'm up out of here because I damn sure didn't expect to be doing all of this. Oh, but y'all are most definitely going to court. Y'all are most definitely go to court. And like I said, there will be triumph. There will be victory. All right? You went through this to go through your dark side to bring you to the fucking light. This was spiritually guided by God, by a higher power, something way more higher than anything that you could ever fucking believe in. All right? So I feel like some of you guys also... I want to say some of y'all, some of the divine masculines, I'm not saying that they didn't believe in God, but I feel like they had like a really rough upbringing where they were always having to juggle or be, it, it, it was, I felt like no one really took them seriously. No one just cho chose them. Like maybe their father, like maybe their father and their father's life, they, like the divine masculine always felt like, their father always had the balance with picking them or picking someone else. You know what I'm saying? Picking their children or picking their lifestyle. And I feel like the divine masculine always lost. Always lost. And I don't feel like the divine masculine truly had a good upbringing. He don't really know how to balance the mind and the heart. And he's impatient because he's looking for justice. He's he's looking for justice. He's looking for some karmic justice. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I do know what's going on. I know what's going on. He feels misled and misused and tricked and bamboozled by this little bitch right here. And he feels very off kilter in this situation with, with this person. Like I said, he feels like this person keeps him off balance. And there's some money missing. I feel like there's some money missing. Or it's something that this person thinks that they're about to be digging into the divine masculine's pocket for some money. And divine masculine is like, bitch, no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. The king of swords. 
he about to cut this bitch smooth the fuck off. It's like, bitch, I can match you with your own energy. And what, and what the fuck I say, bitch, is law. Okay? Because you too young to fuck with me. What the fuck? Because this, 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 this queen of swords, she looks young. I feel like the divine masculine is a little bit older than her. And he know the law a little bit better than her. Okay? So he's like, he's like, bitch, I don't know who the fuck you think you playing with. But yeah, um, I ain't the old umpty, Humpty Dumpty. That was my great-grandfather and all this shit like that. No, bitch, I ain't falling off of this wall, bitch. I will cut your motherfucking ass up. I will cut your ass out before I fall off of this motherfucking wall. The page of wands. Yeah. Messages and new beginnings. The two of pentacles again. And the four of cups. Yeah. The divine masculine is bored with this shit. Divine Masculine is bored with this shit. Divine Masculine has been looking for some new messages. He's just been looking for a confirmation that he can move forward towards a new passionate beginning in life. Um, he realizes that it's a it's been a lot, it's going to be a lot of time spent trying to balance and juggle this situation here, you know. Um, and he does feel like there is is some level of value there, but they're looking for. Um, it's something that they do have some value with there, but they feel like it's going to be a lot of time spent juggling this situation and they're not even interested in it. They're bored with this situation. Okay. So if there is communication coming in, like maybe this person that they're dealing with is just like, you know, don't let me go. Don't let me go. Don't get on, you know, your little unicorn or whatever. Let's just try to work this out. Let's just try to start all over. I could be, uh, what is this, a chameleon. I can adapt to whatever. You know what I'm saying? I can adapt to any terrain. I can be whatever it is you want me to be. You know, just let's start over. You know, let's start over. Okay? Let's start over. And the Vine Masculine is like, yeah, it sounds nice. But I will have to spend a lot of time trying to juggle you and something else that's going on in my life. And I'm not necessarily interested in that offer anymore. So like, you're boring. You're boring. And you drink too much. I thought I drank. Bitch, you drink like a fucking dolphin. You drink like a fish. Okay? And I'm bored. And I'm out. Anyway, so Divine Masculine, listen. Forget who you were in the past. Break those conditionings. You can change if you really want to. You hear me? I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. Believe what the fuck you see. Listen. Believe what the fuck you see. You go digging in the trash, you gonna get trash. And what we say, some shit about to pop off this weekend. Fuck. Shit is about to get real, okay? You need to get your people around you. Because I feel like this bitch is about... Like, I thought... Shit could possibly get... Shit could possibly get violent this weekend. And I'm not even going to keep it no real... I, I can't keep it no realer with you than that. I feel like it's going to be a very, very bad verbal disagreement. And I can see... I don't see the divine masculine getting physical. I can see someone throwing some shit at you, though. I definitely could see. I mean, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing someone picking up, throwing shit at you, like throwing a milkshake and just picking up everything that's within reach. Throwing this shit at, at you because you want a phone. And you probably weren't even really doing no shit on the phone. It's just that you're ignoring this person. So, and you, you didn't want to be in the situation anyway. So, like, this is your escape. So, don't fuck it up. Like, listen, don't let your issues fuck it up. I know you want to um, cuss this person out, but some good shit is about to happen. Let this shit get sorted out in court. Because I feel like everything that you really want to free yourself is going to come out in court. Listen, <laughs> if you speak to this person, only speak truth. Talk to your angels. Figure out what it is that you need to say. Let everything come out in court. I'll see you guys later. If this um, resonated with y'all, 
because y'all bored as fuck. Y'all can't tell me y'all not bored with the person that y'all with right now. Y'all bored. Y'all not even interested in this person. And it's a rocky ass emotional relationship. If this video resonated, y'all hit that thumb, thumbs up button. Okay? Whew. Y'all hit that thumbs up button. If y'all need um, deeper insight directly in regards to what's going on with you and your situation with the Divine Masculine. Because I honestly feel like... I honestly feel like a lot of the divine man, because a lot of the times I be feeling like it's just women that watch this. Nah, it's not. The divine feminines watch this shit because I feel y'all energy. The karmics watch this shit because their energy be coming up a lot. And the divine masculine be sneaking over here, be watching these readings. All right. So all of y'all's energies are present. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like there's a lot of shit going on right now. And I feel like all parties involved are looking for guidance. Divine feminines are looking for guidance, trying to figure out how to, how to navigate these energies and what's going on. Divine masculines are fucking looking for energy and guidance because they know that their divine feminines always used to watch this shit. So they're like curious, like, let me go and see if I can figure out some goddamn shit because I don't know. what. Listen. All of this shit, everyone needs guidance right now. All fucking parties involved. So I want you guys to be wise, okay? Once everything comes out, you're going to end up laughing, okay? Because God does have a sense of humor. I know it ain't funny to you, but it wasn't funny to God seeing, you know, y'all going through all the bullshit that y'all were going through. Not only the bullshit that y'all were going through, the bullshit that y'all were putting other people through, divine masculine, so it's just like you could fuck with all these people, but God can't fuck with you. No, God had to scare the fuck out your ass for you to wake up and take life seriously, to take shit seriously. These are people. These are human beings that you are dealing with. These people have feelings. OK, so God made you go and play in the arena with your own kind because you think you the big bad with you. Listen, you done went you done went in the streets and you don't fuck with someone that is your your fucking match and y'all are scared right now and y'all are regretting a lot of shit and i'm really sorry that y'all are going through this shit but sometimes you gotta just sit back and fucking laugh okay and don't let life make a fool out of you learn the fucking lesson so you can close this chapter because if you do not divine masculine learn this lesson instead of you walking into a new phase starting at ground zero and it's new because this is teaching you how to become the divine masculine. All of that child's play shit, that for play play shit, you leaving that shit behind. This is about you becoming the divine masculine, becoming the fucking man. If you do not learn this lesson, you are going to repeat it again. And it may take a year or two for you to get this opportunity to come around again to close this chapter, to close this cycle. You don't know how long it's going to take. You can't be like, oh, well, I could just go through this for another year It'll I, and I'll end it next year. No, you can't tell the universe when to close cycles for you. God could feel like, oh, you didn't learn this last time I tried to. Uh, well, he can go through this again for the next five years. And we can revise this to see if he's ready. You don't fucking know. So if you have the opportunity to grow and to close this chapter and to emerge anew. And to literally be levitating because you're at a point of spirituality and growth where you're literally levitating over the bullshit that you were dealing with. Because you were playing in the mud before. You're elevating. You're levitating over that. Your feet don't even touch that ground no more. You're not one of them no more. That's what this is about, Divine Masculine. Enough of me running my mouth. I'm out. If this resonated, hit that like button. If you want to book a personal private reading, hit that about tab. Make sure that you book. And then you also send me a message in the video platform of your choosing. Having it be um, uh, Instagram or Google Hangouts. If this video resonated, gave you insight. Make sure if you feel moved to, um, you can go ahead and leave a love donation. I'm gone.